It's normal to judge. People judge it all the time. So what's the big deal about it? Why, why somebody cannot judge you? You know, it's okay. They can judge me. Expect it. So it's not a problem. So sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes, and sometimes, I mean, uh, some many situations also in our life. It's nice to be judged. It definitely teach you something. Because you don't have to take every judgment as they judge you. But there are so many things you can take into a positive account. How many consultant companies are there? <laughs> How many critic magazines are there? We pay thousands of dollars to judge. If somebody's doing for free, Truly, I always think, sometimes when I ask somebody somebody's opinion, I, I'm, I feel bad they don't judge me. They say, oh, it looks good, you know. Tell me something, <laughs> tell me something wrong, you know, here. So that I can learn something, I want to change something here. I need somebody telling me, telling me that. Because and then, of course, you have the right. You, you have intelligence. You have the right to judge. If somebody is judging from right space for right motivation, uh, somebody is tr truly using their skill of judgment to judge you, what you are asking to ju be judged, you make decision. You say, delete, throw it in a garbage trunk. You say, put in a scarf, put a, give a flower, put in a shrine. It's up to you. But at least you have a chance to do both. Unless somebody judges you, you don't have a chance. You remain in a place of, you don't know. I mean, you, you, whatever you're doing in your life, you, you think you do your best to judge yourself, but you, your judgments are limited because it's you. So sometimes we, we, it's, it's always good to look at the positive way, to, to even, even the judgment about others, you know. But you can, only, you can only benefit from it if you're not close to it. If you're open to it, if you want it, if you invite it, if you pay for it, <laughs> then it's only benefit. But are you close for it, it, it does not benefit. And of course, I understand sometimes people judge for no reason. And then you know those kind of judgment. You just, just don't pay attention. There has no meaning, you know. Like it's, it's like their sickness. It's their patterns. And it has nothing to do with you. And just, you just said, fine, it's fine. You know, just leave, leave it as it is. In the Maju teaching, it says, Nyento to Nyentsalwa. Nyento to Nyentsalwa. Nyento to Nyentsalwa means sometime it's like a, you, you, how you say, it's, in Tibet they say like they go up in the mountains and then they, they, they're with the drums and the bells and then thunderstorm comes, lightning comes, hell comes, and then Chopa is doing the Chopa practice. And Chopa is, it's a little bit scared or maybe Chopa is feeling, yes, we are in the mood here. Send more hell here, send more rain, send more thunderstorm. I'm ready for it, I'm prepared for it. You know, like you, you instead of, you know, Running away or fighting with it, you invite it. You invite what is a fearful. But in, even, even then, in order to invite what you're afraid of, you need some strength, and th that strength comes from that indestructible space who you are. But you don't want it to... You don't want to closing and running away is it's not the best solution. It's definitely one solution, and sometimes the only solution. Sometimes we got to do it, but to be open to uh, all the other solutions to the point where you invite it. You invite what you're afraid of. That, I think, some, some of the uh, means of skills here in the church practice, it says, it's, it's called in the Maju teaching, it's called Nyen Tao Nyen Tao, means like uh, inviting what you are fear, fearful of. 
It makes sense. Does it, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Because deep motivation is to grow, to learn, to develop, to improve. That's the deep motivation. And in order to do that, you do want to know what needed to be improved. Genuinely, even it hurts personality. And in a way, it should not hurt personality. If you're open to it, if you, it should make your personality happy. I'm happy somebody is giving me genuine feedback. And if you, if you can somewhere in, somewhere in there, you hurt, hurt, hurt a little bit, you can just sit with that, laugh, up, laugh with that, and play with that, and say, it's okay, you know. You're benefiting out of it. And you know this person's mean well. And you don't want to shut this person down. Because if you shut this person down, this person is not going to share with your genuine opinion next time. This person will only tell you what you wanted to hear. That I'm not interested. You know? Why, why is that interesting? You wanted somebody just telling you what you wanted to hear. You're telling yourself all the time the same thing. <laughs> you don't want more groups of people telling you the same thing. You want somebody to tell you different. So you want to be very skillful and be, be careful not to shut, shut other people down when they are a positive criticism.